Hi friends, welcome to another video. Today you will notice my bookshelves are completely empty, <laughs> including that whole area and those two shelves. And I have all of my books. Whoa. Why can't I like process what I'm looking at? Oh, it's over here. All of my books all around me. The main reason being that my mom got me a little embosser for Christmas. A little thing that'll stamp into the book and say, from the library of Kylie Clawson. So I must do that to every single one of my books. So I figured now would be a good time to go through all of them. This will probably be clips from multiple, multiple days. This is also in the midst of my day's vlog. So you might be seeing similar things. I'm trying to like up the lighting without the whatever you guys can do with extra sparkles in my eyes. So plan of attack is I'm probably going to keep most of it the same. I'm trying to decide if I want this to be rainbow colored again or not. It's a really, it's a really difficult choice. I'm also going to be making lists of books that I need to annotate or tab. For example, the Dreamland Billionaire series, I have two of them tabbed and one of them just underlined, so I'm going to go through and tab that one. Um, what else? Go through the hard covers and see if I want to take the dust jackets off or not. Stamp them, obviously. Also, we're going to the flea market tomorrow with my little sister. And amongst other things, one of the things I want to look for is like little bookish like trinkets um, for the bookshelf. I have one for um, I got it for It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. It's like a little heart tray, but it's a little bit uneven, um, like the one from the story. But I've been putting it on my Elsie Silver shelf just because it's also lovey. So like looking for like a little cowboy statue for that or a fairy statue for a fan. It's just stuff like that. But first, I thought it'd be kind of fun to count and see how many books I own. This is all the books in the house other than like journals, like guided journals. Even the coffee table books that I forgot about until like today. So I'm going to watch some Cody Co. What's new and count all of them and I'll get back to you in a second. give your official guess for how many books we own including I am including the one that Quinn just bought that she's giving us my official guess is 153 got your official guess you want the answer yeah 252 dang 100 off almost. I know my strategy was I counted them all and I put these on top and then I gathered them and counted them that's insane. So I can say with 85% surety, probably. <laughs> now I have to, I'm going to go through them and stamp them and also make like lists, like write down my actual TBR, which mm -hmm. means I also have to go through the Kindle and I'm going to write down ones that need to be annotated. Sounds so much What fun. kind of annotating we need, I know. It's just such a kind of making an Excel spreadsheet. Ooh! Am I not new? Yeah. Wait! Yeah. I'm trying to remember why I needed you. Okay, bye. Bye. I really want to be more organized with my books this year. I feel like a lot of times I read it and I just throw like a star review up on Goodreads and then keep going. But I want to like 
keep track and like write down like as I'm reading. Well, sometimes as I'm reading, sometimes after, I feel like I want, I want to be the type of person that does a book journal, but I feel like I'm just not that kind of person. I might look at Etsy. I've been looking at Red Bubble stickers like all day. But I feel like I'm such a like spreadsheet type of person. I don't know if I'm gonna actually use spreadsheets right now, like Nathan said. But I will be using Notion. I just do a Notion tour sometime. Should I do this under? I used to have like a reading one and then I got rid of it because I just never used it. So let me just put right here reading lists. Make that a page. Where am I? Oh. Okay, we're gonna make a list for to be read. We're gonna make a list of that. Like make a list of full annotation tabs because some of them I've like underlined I just haven't tabbed some of them I just read right through and then did like the first Crescent City book which I need to get back from Quinn if she's not gonna read it I gave it to her to read but it's super duper long before she gets back and she got the new Percy Jackson book so she's probably reading that to be read just needs to be a list it doesn't need to be a checkbox right now because it's more just like I'm I'm going through my books right now I might as well write them down but I'll put them somewhere else but then I'll make to-do lists for the full annotation and the tabs and before I go into like fast forward mode let me show you my embosser so the embosser is like works like this so it's, it says uh, from the library of Kylie Clausen it's got books with flowers in it and I put the upside on the upside Put it in until it clicks and I was doing it on nonfiction books I don't care about the other day and I think I just need to work on my form and also some okay like this is like a guided workbook that I like barely started when I was doing technically I don't think this belongs to me but um it does now squatters rights or whatever Okay, we're going to toss that other book. See, and I don't want to put it on like this page because it goes like this. But maybe it's it's an embosser because it can go like that. A little crunch sound. That's how it's gonna be, perfect. Okay, so I'm going to set up a time lapse or a video somewhere and I'm going to start going through all of these. Okay, so I'm gonna film, <laughs> I'm gonna film the rest of organizing my books and putting them back up, hopefully today, but I just finished, <laughs> I just finished House of Sky and Breath, and I don't know why nobody told me this, I don't, I don't know if it's a spoiler, I just, nobody <laughs> Nobody told me that it was in the Ag Guitar universe and I'm really like freaking out right now. And I need the third book. Like I need air at this moment in time. Oh my god. In case anyone was wondering if I will ever recover from the ending of Crescent City 2, the answer is no, I will not. <laughs> Luckily, oh my god, <laughs> luckily the third book comes out on the 30th of this month, so that's good, but you know what's bad? It's coming out in a hardcover! 
which is not only more expensive, but I specifically thought that this was a duology, and so I specifically got these pr really pretty copies, right? And now it's not gonna match, not even like the size. I was like, okay, fine, maybe I'll just get the other, the cover that comes out and I'll survive. But now, but I simply can't wait any longer. I'm just gonna have to buy the same book twice. I'm gonna have to buy it to read it. And then when this cover comes out, I'll just buy that too. Nobody told me, nobody told me that this was a cliffhanger. I didn't know that until I was like looking at books coming out next year or this year now, I guess. And nobody told me. I heard like, like hints of like it being in the same universe and that's actually why I decided to pick this up even though it's not on my January TBR. I mean, the day I'm filming this today is January 2nd, so it's not really that big of a deal. But I was like, let me just pick this up in case, like, because the other one ended on, like, a cliffhanger, but not, like, a big one. And this is everything. Every part of me is absolutely destroyed right now. How many Crescent City books are there going to be? Let's look that up. Oh, my gosh. How many? Like, I actually thought I was going to puke. Oh, she's under contract for three, but it might be four because they're all named after the houses and there's four, like, houses. I'm so excited for this next one. I can't even, like, my gut wants me to pre-order it because I'm really scared that, like, I'm not going to get, oh my gosh, I'm going to be on a flight that day. I don't know. You know what I'll probably just do? Here's what I'm probably going to do. I'm just gonna get the ebook version of it for like the 10 or 11 bucks that it is. I just always feel like I'm gonna, when I know I'm gonna get the physical copy, why would I ever get the Kindle copy? However, if I get the digital, it's $9, the Kindle edition. Okay, I just pre-ordered the third one. So I'll just read that on my Kindle and I can still like annotate it and take notes there. And then either when it comes out in paperback or Barnes and Noble does like their version, I will buy it physically. That was actually Nathan's idea because I'm too blinded by my love for physical books to think of that. Back to the point of this video. The drink of the, the day is I'm going to try Emma Chamberlain's new recipe for her coffee. So this is the mocha latte with oat milk and it's apparently it's much sweeter. I didn't really have an issue with it last time. This does say to shake it, right? I mean, it's not carbonated. Like a very few amount of ingredients too. Okay, so shake. Um, I didn't have a problem with the last set of her stuff. I didn't think it was like, I didn't think it needed to be sweeter, which is saying a lot because I feel like I'm very, I'm a very sweet coffee drinker. So let's see, but this one is oat milk, so that's yummy. Oh, it smells like cocoa powder. Hmm. It's good. It definitely tastes more like cocoa powdery. Not like it has a bad texture or anything. It just tastes more like the flavor of cocoa powder than I think the last recipe did. That doesn't bug me. The, the best mocha I've ever had was in Honolulu at their like famous ice cream shop. They also do like coffee in the mornings and their mocha had a similar like vibe of like cocoa powdery to it and it's really good. So I like this. All right, back to stamping and then we're going to organize and make my shelves look pretty. Okay, all of my book, there are no books there. All of my books have been stamped and added to my lists. That's a terrible word, lists. Lists, 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 lists. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm tired. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to pick out all the series. Listen, English Today, all the different series that I had a little display for up here, um, and maybe put them back. 
maybe decide I don't need them on a display. We shall see. And I'm gonna watch Ink Masters. both of them out that's great okay so here's what I'm kind of thinking I have Harry Potter here Crescent City here um, knock them out Percy Jackson dreamland six of crows Akatar Elsie silver fourth wing I had down there five star reads and I had down there nonfiction books. Over here, I had all my Colleen Hoover books and the Eden series. So I'm thinking about kind of switching those, like giving the Eden series and Colleen, like I bet all my Colleen Hoover books could fit in there. And then maybe use that for the Eden series or another series that I have. And then I think I'm going to do these in there by author. Except over there I had all my Allie Hazelwood books. So those will probably go back over there. Um, can't decide. I had Lord of the Rings up there somewhere. Now I don't remember where. Oh, I Lord of the Rings up there because I had the Crescent City books facing out over here before I was displaying that. Oh, brother. Oh, there's too many pretty... Maybe I'll get rid of the Captain America set up there. Maybe I'll move that over there. I don't know why this is so stressy. Oh, I'll show you my little things. So, up here we have Hogwarts bookends. And obviously the books go in between. And we have Gilderoy Lockhart right here. And... Lupin in front of the Shrieking Shack. No accessories for Crescent City right now. In front of Fourth Wing, I'm gonna show this cross stitch that I made of Andorna from the first book. Nothing for this. I want to figure out something to do for Percy. This is a monkey skull, which actually now I'm really looking at them. Crescent City could go there. This is not really there for any reason. This could go with Six of Crows, because that doesn't have anything. Dreamland doesn't have anything. Um, Elsie Silver has this next to it, but I might move this to the Colleen Hoover shelf because I got this for It Ends With Us. Um, I just saw it at a random little shop and it's like an uneven heart like her um, tattoo. So I thought that was cute. I got this at the flea market. So this is obviously for Akatar, although maybe I should display Akatar and Crescent City together. No, the Crescent City looks too good. And then this is our um, other Harry Potter shelf. And I usually just stack the books right here and this stuff will go on top of this. So I'll show you the finished product when I get done with this shelf. what we're looking at. We've got, whoa, why is Lupin falling off the edge now? Ooh. Harry Potter up there with Lupin and Gilderoy. I moved the bounty over there. Here's Fourth Wing. It looked so good before and now I like can't remember how I got this to stand so I'm thinking maybe I'll stack them like this and have something there to hold it, but I'm not sure. I also just realized that I have a Peter Pan Lego set over here that I just built. I need to put this here too. And I can put all my Peter Pan stuff on a shelf because I have, we have a Disney shelf. And I have like a whole little Peter Pan section. Anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about. Basically, put this back just the same. I have the Chestnut Spring Series, Gold Rush Ranch, and this. I stacked these like this, and I think it looks better. Like, the flower makes more sense. I feel like I need to put something under the flower to make it make more sense. That has Nathan's bookmark in it. Crescent City went down there. 
Got Six of Crows with a little skull. I think that's fun. Got, oh, I'm out of breath. Dreamland, oh, these are backwards. Dreamland Billionaire Series. We've got all the Colleen Hoover books. They don't quite fill it in, so I need to find a decoration or something to make that make sense. Then we've got Percy Jackson books right here. Same, like, continuity thing. Knock them out, and then the shelf just has two series that I displayed somewhere else, um, and the cross stitch that I got at a thrift store. So we've got Maze Runner, um, the Eden series. I didn't put Sable Peak here because it needs to go with my TBR, but it will go there, and then Motivated by Bitterness and Spite. So right now, I think I'm gonna go through and find the nonfiction books and put those over here just to keep them separate. And uh, this cart is where I usually keep my TBR, but I legitimately don't know if I'm gonna have enough space. I'll get the, all of that off, obviously, but I legitimately don't know if I'll have enough space for all the books on my TBR. So that might be a problem that we have to solve. This is what the TBR cart looks like. Pretty much perfectly fits, but that's because this is the TBR for January that we picked out with the little prompts. So I figured it might make more sense to just keep like my monthly TBR somewhere, maybe like on my desk. I don't know. Speaking of which, what do I want to read next? I just finished Crescent City. Do I want, do I want another fantasy? Maybe I should read this, get a little break. Anyways, now I'm going to put those Ellie Hazelwood books under that butt and put all of these on there in order by author's last name. But I am thinking some with prettier covers. I might fill that blank space in with because covers like, this and covers like this are too pretty to hide. Okay, this is the final product of this shelf area. Up top there, I had some decorations. I need to clean up all of this and figure out what's gonna go up there and then probably put my TBR up there. And over here, I put some pretty covers, but I kinda hate it. So that's probably not gonna last there. Oh, I also put Divine Rivals up here, the little under the cover thing. I needed it separate from Ruthless Vows because that's my T that's on my TBR. Oh my gosh, I need to sit down. My back is killing. But other than some minor tweaks I'll probably make, that's the end of the video. Thank you for going through all of my books with me. It was exciting but stressful at the same time. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.